We are Onyx Imaging. We are the highest rated and most reviewed printer service center in Oklahoma. Hi, my name is Jonathan Onyx Imaging. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Dell B2375. We're going to show you how to clean the scanner glass. Whenever we're using the top document feeder, we'll notice we're getting lines and blemishes on the copies and scans. And that's going to indicate there's something dirty on the scanner glass. In order to clean it, we're going to lift the top of the scanner open. And when you look underneath the scanner, you'll notice there's actually two separate pieces of glass. There's the large flatbed scanner, and there's a small strip of glass on the left side of the printer. And that's actually where all the scanning happens for scanning and copying when you're using the top document feeder. So that's where we're going to want to do most of our uh, cleaning today, or at least that's where we want to focus on. In order to clean it, we're going to use your favorite glass cleaner. If you don't have any glass cleaner, you can use rubbing alcohol, but glass cleaner is definitely preferred. And a lint-free cloth. The biggest tip I can give you is to please always apply your glass cleaner directly to your cloth and never to the glass on the printer. You never want to apply the glass cleaner directly to the glass because there's a higher risk of it seeping, or seeping underneath the glass and causing a lot more problems than you started with. So please always apply your cleaner directly to your cloth and not to the glass on the printer. Okay, so like I said, most of our problems are happening when we're using the top document feeder. So we're going to want to focus on the small strip of glass on the left side of the printer. We're going to clean that first, making sure we get everything off of there. So make sure there's no tape, no ink, white out, anything like that. Some of those can be a little bit more stubborn to get off than others. So it might take you a little longer to get it as clean as you need it to. But wipe it down really good, look it over, make sure you don't see anything physically on the glass. Um, and once you're happy with the way it looks, go ahead and wipe off the flatbed scanner while you're here. The flatbed scanner is highly prone to fingerprints and dust and things like that. So might as well go ahead and get it cleaned up at the same time. Alright. And again, anytime you wipe anything down on the scanner, always want to look it over. Make sure you don't see anything. Uh, anything that you see on the glass, it's really easy for it to show up in any kind of copies and scans that you do. So you want to make sure that you don't see anything on there. Once you're happy with the way it looks, Go ahead and close the top of the scanner, and then I would make a couple extra t uh, test copies or test scans just to make sure that all those blemishes went away. Once you're happy with the results, you're good to go. If you're still getting faint lines or faint little blemishes, there's still probably something that's just really hard to see on that glass. I'll just go back over it one more time and that should take care of it. Other than that, you should be back up and printing. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in how you can receive free labor on all of your service calls, as well as how to qualify for free printer upgrades, contact us today. We are here for all of your printer and office supply needs.